Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. I'm going to be doing a commission this morning. I'm really excited about it because the commission is to match this amazing looking wallpaper. So the customer it's for has this wallpaper on one wall in her bedroom and then I'm going to be doing three um, panels of canvas um, to go on the other wall. So three long canvases. So three of these, 30 centimetres by 80 centimetres. So I've picked out 12 shades from the wallpaper and I've mixed up 12 different colours. Um, I'm going to be doing um, flip cups. I'm going to do, put four flip cups on each canvas um, and I'm going to do one layer of the 12 colours in each cup. Um, so I'm really excited to start. So let, I've mixed up the paints already, so let me show you. So these are the paints that I'm using. So I've got metallics in there, gold, bronze and orange and silver. I've got um, magenta, I've got purple, and I have mixed some of them up. So I've got a pale gold, which is the white and the gold mixed together. And I've done different combinations of the pink and the magenta, which I'll show you in a second. Um, a little bit of black in the red to get a burgundy colour. Um, and these are the colours. So we've got gold first, then the burgundy, magenta, purple, silver, the iridescent um, orange, a pale pink. So this one um, is purple and pink mixed together, but a bit heavier on the purple. This is the white and the gold mixed together, 50-50. And then the bronze, pale purple, and then the other purple and magenta mixed together, but um, a little bit more pink this time. So this is the order um, I'm going to be layering the cups up in. Um, each cup, has got um, 90 grams of paint and 90 grams of pouring medium. Um, the pouring medium is mixed up um, two parts PVA glue, one part water. Um, and then I have added in this paint, in, the, in these paints, um, three, no, four drops in the end, four drops of spot on treadmill silicone um, and given them all a good mix. I've added a little bit of water to some to get them all to a similar consistency, especially the metallics. Um, I'm all ready to start layering. So I'm layering up 12 cups. So that's four cups for each canvas. Right, I'm all ready to start. Um, the cups have all just layered up beautifully. Um, really, really happy with the cups. So my plan, three canvases, four on each. So I think if I just start to, if I put them on top roughly where I want them to go. And then I will start flipping. Oh, 
Wow, this is so much paint. So much. If this doesn't work, I'm in trouble because there's so much. It's taken me ages to even get this far. Right, here goes. Right, I'm just going to wait a minute for the, all the paint to drain down. I'm so nervous, so nervous. I'm just going to have to go for it. I'm just trying to work out which way to tip the cups.
Just thought I'd do a really quick close up before I do the proper stretching out. I've roughly stretched them to cover more of the canvas and then I've done a really good blowtorch. Um, I want lots and lots of cells and just look at what I've got. Lots and lots of cells, absolutely millions of them. They are absolutely beautiful, absolutely incredible. In some ways, I'd love to leave it just like this. <laughs> um, but obviously, I've got to stretch it out, and that's where the fun will come. So the, the cells will get bigger as it stretches, and they will distort a little bit. That's fine. I am just amazed. I don't know if you can see on this bit. There's just a wonderful... No, you can't see it with the phone. It's just a wonderful shimmer. Um, so, so far so good. I am happy so far. So I finished tilting, I finished um, torching, it's done. I am absolutely in love with this uh, piece. Um, big, big problem with this commission is I'm not going to want to give it away. I really want to keep it. Um, obviously, I won't, I can't, um, but I am so excited about it. So the three canvases are all completely different but all the same, it, and I think that works so well. I think it works better as a triptych than it does on the on the on one canvas on its own. Um, let me take you in for a close up. Um, the colours have just come out beautifully. Um, I love millions and millions of cells. Absolutely love it. 
Um, there's a lot of metallics in this, so when it's dry, it will just have a really, really beautiful um, shimmer to it and shine to it. It will just look gorgeous. Um, I think often people quite like uh, paintings with less cells, but I think that is just the characteristic of this painting. So many cells, some round, some distorted, really they're just all packed in and I just think that looks really really nice I'm so so happy with it um so I will be back once it's dry so it's now completely dry I cannot tell you how happy I am with this I absolutely love it um I now think this is my favorite ever 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 painting absolutely love it um now can you see that that silver so I put a different silver in, I put Pebeo Studio Acrylic Silver in and it just glows, it's just amazing, it's much nicer than the other um, silver I've been using. So the cells and the details are just amazing. I, I just keep looking at it, Look the pink and the purple there together in those cells, absolutely love it. Then you've got this kind of river of purple and, and other colours going through. Some of the cells are distorted, some, some of them are round, it, but it just looks like this wonderful sort of swirling river effect of, of colours, almost a bit like lava really that's flowing. You can see the wonderful silver in there again, the iridescent orange in there, and the cells, just look at the cells. And there's some of the amazing copper in there, can you see this? That's actually the iridescent copper with a bit of the iridescent orange there. And look at these cells. So coloured cells surrounded by silver there. Right, let me get that in focus. There, they just glow, they just light up. It's the it's the copper and the orange I think I love with the contrast to, with the other colours. And also that there's just so many colours in this. I would normally choose maybe five or six colours for a painting, but because this has got 12, um, it just, I think it adds so much to it. Yeah, I just, I don't know where to look first when I'm looking. I'm so, so happy. Um, so I'm thinking about doing the same again, but in sort of turquoisey colours to see how that would look. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please leave me some comments, um, some feedback. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe to my channel um, and hit the notification bell to get all new notifications of future videos. Um, great. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.